What's up, what are y'all? Welcome to the Lavender Project. I'm Martin Bustos. I'm Tony Sager. And um, so today we are doing um, a kind of follow up video for a video that we did about three months ago. And it's uh, about um, a silent film called Return to Babylon. And I know Martin loves that movie because we need to still go and watch it. But, um, so anyways, guys, um, we did a video, uh, about three days before the end of 2012 about this movie thing called Return to Babylon. And, um, the reason that we did it was because, okay, I showed this guy that there is, like, a really weird, um, video that I had that I put on my computer, uh, from my iPod. Uh, it was, like, in 2010. I recorded it off the computer when I was watching it, because I was on um, biography.com. Uh, I was watching the series My Ghost Story. I saw this um, one episode on TV I thought was freaking weird. So I recorded um, the segment about Return to Babylon. I put it on my computer, and then last year, we found the video. I showed it to Martin. He thought it was really freaking weird. We decided to do a video on it, and um, now we're doing a follow-up video. And um, so basically... I'll tell you about the thing first, basically. Return to Babylon is a silent film. It's monochromatic, which means it's black and white. And um, it's kind of, it's modeled after the 1920s, like how they used to have movies back then. Uh, in the golden age of Hollywood, start, which ended in the 30s, actually, um, most of the movies, as Martin knows as well, uh, they were silent films. Silent films, man. You're so damn smart, Tony. Like um, yes, they didn't have audio. I mean, I remember, like, Steamboat Willie. That was, like, one of the first films with uh, audio, I think, actually. Yep. And so, basically, it was kind of like, you know, how mimes are, but, like, in movies. And, um, obviously, they were all black and white movies. So, anyways, this specific film was made, I think it was uh, started produced in 2009 or 2010, um, by the director, which is Alex Monti. Kanawati. Now, this guy is pretty awesome for what he did. He said that this pr the inspiration for him to make this movie was that he, he found a bag of film on Hollywood Boulevard, and his dream was always to make a silent film, like back in the good old days of Hollywood. Because, you know, the, the movies in Hollywood that they have today are pretty cool, but nothing can ever replace the era of silent films and monochromatic um, colors and all that stuff. So he made a silent film called Return to Babylon, and it's basically, it talk, in, this, in, this, in this film, it doesn't really talk about it because, you know, no audio, but um, uh, it shows, like, other silent films. It basically recaps on the history of Hollywood, uh, and it's really cool. Now, the thing, the reason that um, Mr. Alex Monty went on to the, the show My Ghost Story is because while making this film, uh, which Alex has seen, I mean, Alex, uh, Martin has seen these pictures, too. Um, these pictures are, what are you called, really creepy, because... They're fucking amazing. Yeah, they're really amazing for the fact that these pictures capture something else, that, it, that it's not the actors, it's not the backgrounds, it's not the shadows. Um, the, the things that were captured while in the film process... They, they saw shadows, and they saw, like, morphed, like, people. Like, uh, if you paused at certain places in the film, or you slow-motioned it, you would see things that were totally weird. Like, you would see people look like skeletons, you would see sh shadows, you would see, like, demons, and all this weird, creepy stuff that was really cool, and it was definitely interesting to us. Like, bearded ladies and shit. Man. Yeah, it was really weird. That one lady uh, looked like Jesus. I think it was Maria, yeah. Maria Conchita Alonso. And then there's one lady that looked like uh, the exorcism girl. Yeah. There's one lady that looked like Michael Jackson. There was one lady that... Oh, there was one part where some guy turned around and you could see Jesus on his back, man. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, so, yes. Uh, Intriguing! <laughs> the, this guy, um, Alex Monty found all this stuff. And so did his crew. Um, him and the actors... Uh, they looked at the film, they were like, what the hell, they didn't know if this happened while in the filming process itself, or whether it was in the um, negatives, uh, when they were developing the negatives, they have no idea what when it took place. All they know is that they have these weird images uh, in parts of this movie, 
And they they thought that one of the reasons could be because, I mean, the places that they went to, it was really old-style Hollywood. They went to all these old places that could very well be haunted by some kind of spirit or whatever. And so many people, the crew and the actors, think that the set where they made Return to Babylon was really haunted. And I do too, uh, obviously, I, and Martin does. Um, so yes, now the reason that we're doing this video is because a couple days ago on Friday... Um, Alex Monty himself, he actually contacted us on our Facebook page. Um, and he even commented on the first video that we did about Return to Babylon. Um, he's like, thank you guys for doing this segment on Return to Babylon. And I told him, well, it's no problem for us. We love what's, we love the movie. We love what ha happened. We saw it on my ghost story. We wanted to do something on it because no one else has done a story about Return to Babylon. This movie hasn't gotten the recognition that it should, and Martin knows that. So Martin, is there anything that you want to say before um, we go on with this video? Pretty much said everything, man, but, uh, you know, I'm really happy that he contacted us. You know, this is the first famous man in the industry of what we want to do has ever said anything to us and gave us uh, credit for something that nobody's ever done before, man. And he made an awesome movie that nobody got to see. And, well, I want to see it, man. You know what I mean? Send us a copy, man. Nah, um, I honestly think that, um, the whole backstory to, the, to what happened on set the whole, throughout the whole movie is like caught should should have caught a lot of people's attention, mm -hmm. but it didn't. Yeah, and that sucks, man. Mm -hmm. I don't. I haven't even seen one video about like yeah. Return of Babylon besides the one we have, which we're gonna show you guys right now. Unfortunately, the volume on this video is gone. Um. So, but we'll talk about what's going on through it because I remember the whole thing. I'm sure Martin does too. Uh. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll talk about what's going on. And um, um I'd like to apologize. Now, Anthony knows what I'm about to apologize for. I can't remember the woman's name. I apologize because if you watch the first video, I have a sincere, I have a smile on my face, but I sincerely, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, apologize for saying what I said in the first video. If you know what I said, I'm sorry. But if you don't know what I said, I'm still sorry. Um, I don't really want to repeat it because it's a bit racist. So... Uh, yeah, I am so sorry for saying that. I was just trying to say something funny. I think I crossed the line. So, my fault. Yes. On with the show, man. On with the show. Alright, guys. So, um, this video here I have on my laptop. It has a little bit of problem with uh, pausing and also volume. So, yes. Uh, we'll show you it right now. Um, so basically... It's, Sexy, this man. is, uh, what I recorded, uh, on the first video. It, this same video is on it. And uh, this is from uh, my ghost story. Her. And th this is the segment. Sorry, yeah. her. Um, my fault. And so basically it's just talking about uh, Alex Monty's film, Return to Babylon. It's a silent film, as I said. It's basically based in the 1920s Hollywood. And, um, move the damn mouse. And it shows all these uh, pretty cool scenes from the movie. And it's really interesting. I've never seen a silent film my in my whole life by myself. Uh, I've never seen also a monochromatic film, so uh, it's kind of weird. The only black and white film I've ever seen is Frank and Weenie, but anyways. So, um, this woman, Lupe Valles, I think, um, she was this, uh, um, she was the actor that's this woman in lots of scenes. And the reason that she's talking about her experiences on My Ghost Story is because there are a lot of, um, really weird, uh, things that happen to her as being part of her character on the set. Now, w when I mean weird things, I mean the images of her as an actor um, were really compromised with some, some look like a, a devil and whatever, and it was really creepy. Now, uh, her, uh, I think her name's Morgan, um, she actually had one scene that I really liked that was really creepy. Remember the skeleton one? Yes. Yes. Where she's running off the table? Yeah. So we'll show it will show in the minute, but anyways, um, uh, so anyways, yeah, they were making this video, and they they didn't even know at the time that what that they were finding these things, um, but 
someone caught on to it, I'm not sure who, uh, and there he is, Alex Monti himself, um, basically being interviewed by the My Ghost Story crew, talking about his own silent film and what happened. Um, uh, how they found, how they came upon these images. And see, that's one of the houses where they actually uh, film some of their scenes. And it's a really old house. I mean, you could tell from those damn wooden doors that it's really old Hollywood. Like, maybe even before the 1920s. Uh, it does look definitely look like a, a higher fashion house back then. But anyways... So long story short, uh, they just talk about a couple more scenes and like how she uh, f thought that she heard voices and she got chills around her uh, while in this house. And she didn't like the house and not many people liked the places that they were at, but they really didn't say anything to Alex Monty because, I mean, he was doing his work, he was having fun, everyone was having fun. Um, and then they start to talk about how uh, Alex kind of started changing a little bit. Uh, like his personality, his character, uh, started changing a little bit more for, towards the worst side, they said. And he, the, the weirdest thing is that he didn't know about it. So anyways, um, they're talking about uh, basically the first parts of where they found the weird stuff in these films. And Alex is telling my ghost story about, like for instance, how these things occur uh, in the background, or how, like, in people's character, um, how these images randomly, do, they don't look bad, but they actually look scary if you take a look at it. Like, for instance, this is the woman with the horn right there. If you could see it, she kind of looks like a demon. She has a horn coming out of her head, and she has, like, uh, like, her eye socket is gone, basically. And she's kind of like, it looks like she's moaning in pain. And it's really, really creepy. Um, and basically the actress is talking about, uh, I think that's her that was in that scene. And she said that she, when she saw that, she's like, that's not me, that's crazy. And, I mean, she tried to tell Alex about it. They all tried to tell, but he really didn't get the gist of it. He was kind of in his own world. And, um, I don't think he, he didn't t pay too much attention to it. He was kind of not himself. And so that they're talking about how maybe that what if there was a spirit or something on set that maybe that was it getting inside him or getting to him, um, and so yeah, it's really interesting. Um, uh, this video that I'm showing you guys now it's nowhere on YouTube and uh, it's not even on the website anymore. So this is the only copy that I know to be posted on YouTube. If you can find one, then link it to me definitely. Um, but anyways, there's another creepy picture. There's the horned woman. Um, but the one that you saw before that was actually supposed to be Lon Chaney. And, um, when they paused it in that spot, it showed his, like, eyes inside his head. Now, I want you guys to take a look at this, because I thought this was really awesome. Now, see that woman right there? Um, I... I'm not sure, is that Morgan or is that Lupe? But, anyways, you could see that that's basically... They call it the Bearded Man. Uh, I'm not sure if Alex was the one who gave it that name. But, anyways, it kind of looks like Jesus, I mean, if you take a close look at it. Her mm -hmm. hair is in front of her face to where it looks like she has a beard. And, um, it's really creepy. It's like perfectly formed her face, man. Yeah. And, uh, when they pause it in that one spot, I mean, it even shows, it looks like blood marks or like the crown on Jesus. Now, that's what it looks like to me. But Alex describes it as the bearded man. And he's basically saying that the bearded man is not Maria Conchita Alonso. And so, what they're saying, basically, is that these random images, things like this have been fa found all over in this film, in the filmmaking process or whatever. And so, they're talking about what they, uh, how they responded to this, um, saying how it's really creepy. Uh, and also other stuff being that, uh, just that the film itself, they don't know how this stuff was on the film in the first place. Um, anyways... So, basically, they're talking about... Uh, actually, I do not know what they're talking about right now. Um, but anyways, okay, so this is the skeleton part. And, um, so, anyways, that woman right there, is she, at, at the time when she jumped off the table, she looks like she's really hollow, and she actually does look like a skeleton. Now, you can see her jaw right there open, and, like, you can see her eyes, and you can see where her nose is supposed to be. Um, she, she does, in fact, look like a skeleton. You can see her pelvis right there, her rib cage, her spine, her shoulder blades, and it's really creepy how they found something like that. And when Monty, when Alex Monty saw this, he was, 
completely stunned at the fact that it actually resembled something especially that creepy. So um they at this point they started looking for more stuff. At this point they started looking for more stuff and oh my god. I don't know why, but I actually what the hell is wrong with this thing? I actually recorded the stupid um uh thingy my jig. Where am I? So you think we're gonna do a part two? Yeah, we have to do a part two. It's already fifteen minutes. Um so, did, what did I skip? Because this thing is totally fucked up. I hate this computer. Okay, we're right here. So, I recorded the... Um, what's it called? Watch this. This is pretty funny. I recorded the freaking um... <laughs> commercial. <laughs> but anyway, so let's get back to the movie. Basically, now they're gonna start showing you guys more parts of... Basically, the film at that at that time when they made this episode of my ghost story that they caught now obviously by that time um see there he is right there um obviously at this time um they have found more and i'm gonna show you a couple more pictures that alex monty uh... links to me on both my facebook and the lavender projects facebook if you go to our facebook uh... you'll actually see the pictures that li that were linked oh my god my fingers on in the camera uh... on this video but anyways um, but anyway, so he's gonna show us, they're gonna show us basically the other things that they found besides that. Like, for instance, uh, this is actually, uh, he put the, he sent this to me in a message, and it, it looks like a really weird person with, like, claws. Now watch this. Now she's look like, she kinda looks like she's just going crazy for a minute. But it's not the only thing about that. Now, some of these images are not as creepy as others, and that's definitely warranted. But, watch this. So this part, she's actually, she actually kind of looks like a goblin, kind of, like, just really creepy, and kind of like her face got punched in by something. Yeah, dude. It's kind of nasty, actually. Um, now this is the creepy part, look at that. Now that's the woman that is, apparently, looks like the, um, exorcist girl. And it's really creepy how it just turned up in the film to look like that. Now... It's, that was actually, I think that's the scariest one in here. It, in my opinion, it's the scariest one. I'll show you my scariest one, dude. That one's fucking creepy, dude. Really? It's, uh, no, 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 uh, there's this, this guy one's with the creepy. big hands, right? Yeah, this is the guy that has, like, he's growing, like, huge hands and claws, and he's kind of, like, insane, kind of, like, evil. He looks like pure darkness right there. Now, he's probably going to hate me for saying this, but uh, do you think there's any chance that possibly they uh, made the film uh, That's creepy. like that, they made the film um, and made the actors act like they were being possessed or had stuff to do with it to be like a conspiracy type thing? You know, this is just a thought in my mind. Yeah. Maybe he, maybe he made the film to make everybody seem scared, and um, <clears throat> like uh, made everybody seem scared. And the fuck was I gonna say? Oh my god, I this forgot the pause button like, doesn't work on this. Oh yeah, position. the pause doesn't, doesn't it. work. Huh? But anyways, like it's not real. Like this isn't real. Yeah. It's made like that. They, that could be a possibility too, and that's probably what a lot of people think. But I mean, I don't think that because I don't know why you'd have something that. Oh, that's pretty creepy. I don't know why you would do that to your own silent film. Right. I'm not saying it, that's what's true. I'm just saying yeah. that could be a possibility, but I'm mm -hmm. not sure. You feel me? So yeah. Like, don't fuck quote me on that or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's good that you bring that up because people are probably gonna say something like that, and then yeah. like it gets annoying at times. But uh, I believe everything that's going on sure is, is really real. Um, but yeah, that last picture that we saw, which actually is somewhere... Uh, I think this is where it ends. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Where was it? Because I think... Uh, oh, that's pretty creepy. What the hell? I didn't even see that before. Yeah, that's the one that like morphs her face, see? Yeah. That's freaking creepy. Now that's really weird. Yeah, they, they catch a bunch of weird um, pieces of film in this movie. And they have a lot more now. See, that's actually... I think that's Alex himself um, as acting as Lon Chaney. And in that one split second, he looks like he's just possessed. Now, that one's the one that looks that's like Michael Jackson. That's the one Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson yeah. That's the creepiest one, in my opinion. And Alex is actually saying right here that um, he had uh, trouble with religious groups uh, saying that like it's like the work of the devil, basically. And that 
they didn't want to watch his movie. But anyways, it says Monty is still finding disturbing unexplained footage as his film nears completion. And that's totally correct because I'm pretty sure that his film is uh, complete now. This episode came out almost three years ago. Um, I think he finished the film closer to 2011 and I actually want to watch it. Um, yeah. And so yeah, I mean, like, what do you think, what do, what do you feel would actually be on his set? Would it be like a spirit or would it be something demonic? Well, who can, who, 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 who can actually, what the fuck was that? That was me. <laughs> um, who can actually say that what this is is a spirit or yeah. de a demonic spirit? It could be a coincidence. A uh, yeah, it could be totally. I mean, anything could be a coincidence. That's a really creepy coincidence. Fuck like, yeah, dude. I I'd piss myself. But, um, personally, I think everything right here is real, mm -hmm. honestly. I honestly think that everything is real. But there could be that 1% of it being a coincidence. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, demonic? Hell yes. If this is truly real, this is definitely demonic, man. I don't think there's one good spirit because there's not one good thing that I saw. Yeah. You feel me? It looks all really creepy, and it actually looks most of it is biblical. Yeah, straight up. Like, the Jesus, Jesus juice. And the devil and, and the all that devil stuff. the devil and the skeleton. Everything has to do with death. Uh-huh. Basically, yeah. Um, Pretty that, much. Now, I mean, I don't know what Alex Monty thinks himself uh, about this. I don't know what the actors think about it. I know that they're really freaked out, but... And I don't even know what the... I mean, I know why he made it, but I don't know what the whole purpose of the movie is. I don't know what it's about. I don't know anything about it. I just know what it's called and what the uh, terrifying um, claims have been upon it. Yeah. I don't know what it's about. So if you know, put it in the comments. You feel me? I really like to know. You know, I want to learn from you guys. You guys learn from us. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But, um... I should probably research it or something. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of sad, too, that no one else has talked about this yeah, dude. movie. It's really pretty cool, actually. And I'm kind of glad that we got a chance to do it because mm -hmm. it's original. It's really good. Yeah. And we're bosses. Mm -hmm. So, three right there, man. Yeah. And it even came... It, it even got us to come in contact with the actual director of it, man. Mm -hmm. So, that's pretty boss in my book, man. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, he was, uh, I was actually the one that asked him if we should do another video about this. And he yeah. said yes to the follow-up video. Um, and so that's I, when he provided us with uh, the pictures, the and, pictures and stuff. Yeah. Now, are you going to show them the pictures? Yes, I'm going to do that right Straight now. Up. So, anyways, uh, let me see which one. Uh, hold on. Let me find which picture it is. Uh, no. Okay. So, starting with this picture. Um, this is a picture that... Um, uh, Alex Monty, uh, he actually sent it to me in a Facebook message, and he said that, um, this is a statue, and it looks like an angel, right? Now, he said in reality, this statue is about 50 feet away from this umbrella here, and yet this umbrella looks like, makes it look like it has really evil, like, dark devil black wings. Yeah. And, um, it's really creepy because it basically looks like, like an evil, kind of nice at the same time cool thing. And I was like, oh, that's, that's awesome. Uh, I have to put that in the video. That's really disturbing, and yet it's really cool at the same time. Yeah. Um, so the next picture we have, uh, this is another one. He actually linked this to, I think that he linked this to my Facebook. Yeah, he did. And uh, it's actually a picture of one of the actor's faces. And sh she looks like she's just totally, one, she's totally hollow. And two, she's totally, it looks like she's kind of insane, but evil at the same time. It looks like she's getting, like... The life sucked out. Yeah, kind of. So like if you look at her cheeks or whatever, it looks like. But her mouth is totally open. Mm -hmm. But it looks like like if a person would do this, like. Yeah. But her mouth is totally open. It looks like she's so there's in pain. no way. Yeah, straight up. Mm -hmm. And her eyes are all open. It looks like it looks like she has like, uh, spiky teeth. Uh huh. And yeah. Like it her does. canines are really like big. Rosy cheeks. And it looks like her her eyes are black like a skeleton's, but yeah, yet dude. it looks like there's something there. Yeah. Like and basically her, like her inverted. nose is all like flat, mm -hmm. like Voldemort. It's really creepy. Yeah, like like Degrassia. Like Degra oh. <laughs> Degrassia got a cleft lip, man. Yeah. Well, so does uh, what's his name? Um, Sylvester. Stallone. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, so here's the last picture. This is really awesome. They're dancing, bro. The freaking, the quality of this picture, 
is awesome. Uh, my girlfriend Angie was actually at my house yesterday when um, Alex Monty sent this. He linked it to me, and she was like, "Whoa!" That's exactly what she said. It too. almost looks like she knows. Uh huh. Like she knows that that thing is there, man. Yeah. Now I I don't know. Um, Alex never told me if this is actually supposed to be another character or if yeah. it was just something behind her. I'm pretty sure it was another actor, but it's just the way that he looks is really demonic. He looks like he he kind he kind of looks like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you like close up on that shit, it looks pretty disgusting. Then where's his other half, bro? Yeah, I know it's like totally gone. That's the thing, which I don't know if it's something wrong with the film and it was a real actor or if it was something manifesting behind her. Cause if that thing was manifesting, that's a good fucking catch. Yeah, that's a really good one. Excuse my French, <laughs> but that's a good fucking catch if that's not real. Yeah, um, and it's kind of weird too, cause. At this moment, she looks like she's kind of scared. Yeah. And yet, it looks like she's kind of morphing right there. Like, she's growing claws and shit. Yeah. It's kind of weird. And then, look, her other hand's just, like, gone, kind of. Oh, well, it's to the side. It's like that. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. But it's like, it makes you wonder what she was doing in this scene when this was, like... Happening. Yeah. And it's like, the way these pictures are just formed together, man... It's, like, really, really cool, man, and intriguing, mm -hmm. and it gets you thinking, man. So, anyways, we only have about four minutes left of this video. Um, so, I want to show you guys something. Uh, this was a thumbnail for part two of our original Return to Babylon film. And it's funny, because this thumbnail is kind of like Alex Monty's uh, films, where they catch, like, if you pause the video, yeah. uh, they catch something really creepy. And this was YouTube's recommended thumbnail, and it actually shows me, like, my eyes are, you can't really see it, but my eyes are in my head, and I'm kind of, like, my hands are shaking, like, i kind of having, like, a possession or a seizure or something. And it's really odd. Um, but yeah, that was the thumbnail, and now we're actually going to show you the last picture, which uh, we showed you in the original video. This is a picture um, from my, a video that I did about, the I think... Of Elf. I think so. It was one of the Pokemon Creepypasta videos. Yeah. And so basically it's also like the same thing. How It, it kind of reminds me of when Alex Monty was Lon Chaney. And for the fact that my eyes are in my head, it looks like there's blood dripping off my mouth and stuff. And then like my hands are right here are shaking too. And it looks like I'm kind of like, it's really creepy. I don't know what to describe this at all by. Um, but yeah, it's really freaking really, weird. Really, really creepy, man. So, um... And it sucks that it only happened to you, man. I'd love to, like, go back in the video and see if anything happened to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, right? Uh, so, yeah. Especially at my house, dude. Just imagine if something manifested behind us at my house, dude. That'd be or, like, crazy. possessed one of us at uh -huh. my house. That'd be crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So anyways, uh, we don't have much time for this video left, but anyways, I'm thanking you guys for watching this, I'm thanking, uh, we're both thanking Alex Monty, uh, director of Return to Babylon, for contacting us about this. Yeah, and, uh, thank you, and one more time, I'm def desperately sorry, and want forgiveness. <laughs> um, but yes, anyways, uh, thanks all you guys for w who were watching this, and who would take part in this video experience, our, our last video was crap compared to this one, but still pretty good info and stuff. Uh, well, that's because we were just starting out now. Man. Yeah. Now we have a fan base. Now we have people who actually care about it. Yeah. We need to provide for them, man. Mm -hmm. You know? We need to provide for you guys. We love you guys, man. So anyways, like and subscribe to become a TLPL boss today. TLPL um, boss, man? TLPL boss. I dude. said, yeah. TLPL a little... TLPL And yeah, you guys should um, research the Return to Babylon. Maybe if you could find the episode, watch it, record it. Um, also, you guys should follow and like um, Alex Monty's uh, page on Facebook and whatever yeah, else you want. Adam has a follow -up guide. Yeah. Subscribe to his page or something. Whatever they do on Facebook. I mean, he might have a Twitter too, I'm not sure. Um, but I don't like Twitter anyways. So anyways, yeah. Follow us on Twitter, man. Yeah. I go on, I try Follow to go us on, on Twitter, on like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube unless you just hate us. Yeah. But if you hate Monty, then you suck. But if you love, if you, if you don't like us, but you like Return to Babylon, subscribe. Yeah. You can unsubscribe later, but subscribe. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> so anyways, um, see, we don't have a lot of time left for this video, so anyways. I'm Martin Bustos with Che Guevara. 
from the Lavender Project. I'm Tony Sager of the Lavender Project. Uh, stay tuned for our next video. Stay tuned for our Easter special, Bunny Man, Real or Alive. Thank you.